So I'm heading out again once more on this really windy afternoon. Whew, must be about 200 kangaroos there. Uh, heading out again just to see what I can get. I'm a bit too late, the sun's about to go down, but I thought bugger it, you know, just have to get out of the house, the usual reason. And uh, whether I get a photo or not, don't care. Just want to get out there, get some fresh air. I've spent too much time sitting on my fat ass today and I need to get outside. So I've got my camera, got my tripod, going to go for a quick walk. I have a spot in mind where I found a small body of water on Google Maps in an area where I've walked a number of times but had never gotten to that point where that body of water is. So I'm going to go and have a look at that now, see what I can find and uh, enjoy some fresh air. We'll see, uh, we'll see what it yields. Okay, so it's uh, it's bloody windy, but it's not that cold. It's about 16 degrees. I think it's because uh, the wind is coming mostly from the north, which is all desert region. So whenever we get a north wind, it tends to be on the warmer side. I'm heading out to a spot on the edge of this stand of trees where I photographed quite a lot lately to check out a small body of water that's over here somewhere just on the odd chance that I can get some nice cloud and some colour after this sun goes down or as this sun goes down but like I said in the car I'm really not fussed I just wanted to get out of the house away from my computer and just get a bit of exercise, a bit of fresh air. Just get outside. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Kangaroos everywhere. Oh, that's windy. Very blustery. And here's our body of water. Didn't even know this was here until I had a look on Google Maps. I've been within 200 meters of this thing multiple times and didn't realize it was here. Now you can see there's a little bit of colour in the clouds up there, but it looks like there is cloud on the horizon where the sun's setting. I think the sun is setting right now. So I think my chances of getting something are pretty remote, but I'll have a quick look around anyway for next time. Probably a waste of time, but since I'm here I'm going to try it anyway. A little while ago I got a shot of a tree, um, a dead tree in the middle of a bunch of live trees and they were all moving around in this gusty wind just leaving the dead tree still in the image and it looks kind of cool. I'm thinking that maybe I can do something similar here with this uh, dead tree that's fallen in the water, the live tree hanging over it in the front and the water moving all around it. Okay so this is my setup here, tripod positioned a little bit out of the wind with that blustery tree in the background, well actually in front of the dead trees, all the dead branches that are in the water. I'm going to see how we go with that. And incidentally I just dropped my <laughs> magnetic free well lens cap and it rolled down there straight into the water and no, I'm not going to go pick it up. Okay I've just put on the ND and the circular polarizer. So now, I should be able to get a much longer exposure. About six seconds. Focus on there. Two second timer. Just make sure that that is set. No, it's not. Two second timer. And away we go. Hmm, interesting. Okay, turn off my, actually I think I'll leave the image stabilization on given this wind, it's kind of crazy. 
All right, let's try again. Six seconds, F16, 100 ISO. This time I'm going to stand in front of the camera and try and shield it a bit from the wind. I think that's better. All right, so that's reasonably interesting. But uh, now I'm going to get up higher so I can look down on those, uh, on those dead branches a bit more. So I've put the tripod a bit higher now, as you can see here, and I'm honing right in now on these branches. Uh, see, now that's looking a bit better now. That's looking, that's looking nice. I like that. All right, I'm gonna give it one more go. Two second timer. Shield the camera. <laughs> If anyone walks past, they're going to think, what's this idiot doing? But when you're 53, you don't really give a shit. All right, how'd that go? Yeah, I reckon... I reckon there's something in that. All right, this is good. I'm going to come back here when, uh, when I've got great light because, as you can see, the light is rubbish. But, thanks to the beauty of Lightroom, and long exposures and a reasonably interesting composition and fortunately a bit of colour in the dead leaves in this live section here I think I might have a shot poor thing you don't have a lens cap now oh I need to take you off You can go back in your little cubby house. All right, and that's it. Okay, so despite the fact that these conditions were less than ideal, by simplifying my composition, getting up high, pointing down onto the dead tree, and using a long exposure to accentuate movement, um, and then bringing out the colors in Lightroom, I ended up with an image which, which I'm quite happy with. So here's the final image.